Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure VLAN access to the internet on the Cisco ASA. Okay, for in this video, I'm create the two VLAN. Okay, for the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, for the VLAN 10, I'm assigned for the IT and uh, for the VLAN 20, I'm assigned to the HR department. Okay, and then we will do to configure or allow the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 access to the internet on the Cisco ASA4 in this video and we will practice uh, this lab on the GNS3 Okay, for the real lab Okay, and then I'm go to the GNS3 I'm going to show you how to configure Okay, this is a lab that we have to configure allow the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 access uh, go through to the Cisco ASA and, and go out to the internet Okay, that you see Okay, so we have two VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 Okay, that we have to create the VLAN on the core suite Okay, and then uh, we configure something for allow the VLAN Access, access go through to the uh, Cisco ASA and go to out outside and uh, go to the internet okay this is a step that we have to do uh, follow our configuration and follow our step that we have to create the VLAN uh, uh, 10 and VLAN 20 on the core suite okay this is a core suite okay set the IP address and assign port or something like that okay and then I'm go to the uh, follow uh, the step one on the core suite create the VLAN. Okay, this is a uh, Cisco ASA and this is a uh, core suite that I'm not yet to the set host name. Okay, I'm go to the core suite and set host name. Uh, I'm set the uh, core suite. Okay, this is a core suite that the first um, create the VLAN follow our uh, step okay we land 10 and we land 20 okay and we land 10 and sign assign them for the IT okay and we land 20 and um, assign them for the HR okay HR department IT department okay and then I'm sure we land Okay, this is the name of the VLAN. Okay, this is the number of the VLAN okay, that we create. 10 for the IT, 20 for the HR. Okay, and then we go uh, for active, active, and the port, the port we not get to assign to the VLAN. Okay, and then we go to the step 2, assign port to the VLAN. Okay, assign port access to the VLAN. Okay, for the port, we assign each and every. Uh, 0 slash 1 to the VLAN 10 and HNS 0 slash 3 for the uh, VLAN 20 and then I go to the port HNS 0 slash 0 HNS 0 slash 0 1 okay sorry HNS 0 slash 1 and switch port post access okay then switch port access uh, VLAN 10 okay Okay, follow our scenario. Okay, and then I'm go to the issue at zero slash three. Okay, so port mode access. Okay, so port access. Okay, we need twenty. Okay, and then I'm show you that again. Okay, that you see, we learn ten. Thank you, port. This is called report. Okay, and we land at 20, FQ port is in 0 slash 3. Okay, this port. Okay, this port for the VLAN uh, 20 and uh, this port is in 0 slash 1 for the VLAN IT, VLAN 10. Okay, and then we uh, have to the set IP address on the VLAN. Okay, I'm go to the VLAN, and press VLAN 10. Okay, so we set follow this IP. Okay, then I will go to the VLAN Okay, follow this IP. Sure. 
Okay, this is a port that we assign to the interface Ethernet board. Okay, this is a port that we assign to the interface Ethernet 3 to the VLAN 20 and VLAN 20. Okay, and then I'm scroll down. Okay, this is the IP address that we assign to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, follow this one for the IT and follow this one for the uh, HR. Okay, and then I'm testing ping from the uh, IP at VLAN 10, IT and ping to the IP address at the VLAN 20 at the HR. It will ping or communicate or not. Okay, when we assign IP address and assign port. Okay, I'm going to the window HP client board and ping to the window HP client 3 at this IP. Okay, window HP client board. Okay, I'm going to check the IP again for Windows HP Client 2. Okay. 11, not 10. Okay, 11. Okay, it's working. Okay, this one for the 11. Okay, and then I'm ping from the Windows HP client 2 to the Windows HP client 1, it's working on now. Okay, it's working. Okay. Okay, so uh, VLAN 10 can be access to the VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 can access to the VLAN uh, 10. Okay, for the IT, 10 access to the HR and HR access to the IT okay. okay and then I'm ping from the switch to the IP address okay. well, it's working okay it's working also okay for VLAN 10 can access to the uh, gateway of the call switch and call switch can be access also to each other okay so VLAN 10 and can access to VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 Okay. okay, for the call suite we already. Okay, and then I'm go to the Ethernet 0 slash 0 and assign IP address and enable the uh, default route for all the, all the VLAN can be accessed to the internet. Okay, I'm go to the call suite. Okay, I'm go to the Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, before you want to the as and assign IP address to the uh, uh, switch layer through you have to tie the common low switch port okay, low switch port uh, this command allow you can uh, assign IP address on the in the point of the call switch way okay okay and then no shot okay and then I'm at the body for rounds This is a gateway, okay, for the interface G1 and the Cisco ASA. Okay, sorry. okay, for the configuration on the call suite, we already to configure step 1, step 2, and step 3 already. Okay, and then we go to the Cisco ASA. Okay, on the Cisco ASA, we have to follow our step 1 to the 5. Okay, for the step 1, assign IP address and interface name. 
Okay, and then I'm go to the Cisco ASA. I'm go to the IP address. The first and IP address. The first G bit one. Okay, so the bit address. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, by default security level for the interface inside 100. Okay, and then I'm go to the uh, interface G0. Okay, and I see there also. Okay, follow this IP. IP. Okay, push up. 